Hey there, how's it going? My name is Antlerboy and welcome to my Minecraft survival world. In this episode, we're kicking it off the way we normally do by building a few bits and bobs here and there that need to be built. This time, we're connecting up the road to the church that we built in the last episode and filling in the adjacent area with some greenery and trees. My plan for this episode is to work on the area here surrounding the church to give this side of the valley a little bit more context. So get yourself comfortable and grab some snacks because I plan to make as much progress as I usually make in these episodes. And if you're a recurring viewer that's not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? My upload schedule is one new video every single week as this type of content takes a lot of time to produce, but so far I've stuck to one video every five days and that's not something I'm planning to stop doing anytime soon. So subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, do whatever else YouTubers are supposed to say, smash the like button, send the video to all your mom's friends or whatever. You know the drill at this point. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into this episode and hop into first person so I can show you guys what we're going to be doing today. I will see you on the other side. All right, here we are. Starting off this episode, I actually wanted to do this part of the mountain and start building more of it for the intro and decided to go with the trees here instead because, well, I've been building a lot of mountains recently and, oof, stuck the landing as well. And I plan to make a full terraforming episode where I terraform for a full 24 hours and see how much landscaping I can get done and see what a difference it makes. What do you guys think about that idea? Do you guys think I should do that or stick to others episodes? Uh, let me know in the comments, okay? So that would mean finishing the mountain here that I plan to build pretty much all the way up to build height, finishing all this stuff, maybe connecting the land over here down to the terrain that's naturally generated right here, doing something with spawn, connecting a path that goes all the way up from spawn through here, building a ton of trees, trying to finish the forest. Well, it means a lot of things, as you can tell. So if that's of interest at all, give me a shout in the comments and tell me that you want to see the landscaping 24 hour challenge. And if enough people tell me they want to see that, I will do it. It would just be really nice to get a lot of the landscaping done in one mega episode so that we can start building all the structures I plan to have in this area. Speaking of structures, now that this area up here is looking really nice, you can get all the way to the church. I want to build a few structures over here. So I've already pointed out where I'd like to build a house right here. And I'd like to build a little bit of a house, maybe a, like a storage house for the church or something. At least where I live, there are usually small buildings in the same style as the church around it, where maybe they store stuff, maybe they... I don't know. I've never worked in a church, so I don't know what they keep in those buildings, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Also, the lanterns right here really light this place up nicely at night, so we got the path nice and bright. So we don't have to worry about walking into a tree or having mobs spawn. Well, I mean, we don't have to worry about that at all since we're in a mushroom biome, but you get the gist. Later in the episode, I'd also like to work on this area and finish it up. It's going to be sort of enclosed because we're going to have obviously the wall and the church here. And then this building is going to go up a fair bit and we're going to have the trees and just a little pathway to get in here. And so maybe this little area could have some have some tables, maybe build a large tree right here. So there's a canopy covering it as well. I'll figure something out. We'll, we'll make something happen. And over here, over on this side is actually where there's going to be a little bit of a water stream coming here and there's going to be a waterfall. We're going to have to terraform this different a little bit in the mega episode if that happens so that I can have the water stream coming down that actually connects over to it connects to my little waterfall here which is just three source blocks that goes all the way down into my little pool in my enchanted nether portal forest right here so this stream right here is something I'm gonna have to keep in mind as I'm building this house but I think I have enough space to do what I want to do it's only gonna be like a three or four block wide stream so I have a bit of space to do something with the backyard right here basically everything that's on this side of the stream is something I would like to dress up in this video and make look good so this house this building over here this little area in between everything and I'd like to do something with this area right here. So I've got a ton of building to do, but when don't I? I know I want this building to be a building that belongs to the church and is has something to do with it. And this building, my idea is actually that I'd like it to be the place where I store my valuables. So a bit of a diamond storage building. And I figured, what's a medieval trade that is befitting of storing my diamonds? 
And what I came up with is that I should make a jewelry shop to display all my riches. So as you might know, I have the miller living over here. I have the beekeeper living in this house and I've got the priest over here. So giving a lot of these houses some context is uh, a bit more fun and it gives a little bit more of a reason for this house to exist. And I like that. Before we start the time lapse, I'd like you guys to meet someone who I met while I was collecting ferns in the taiga forest who I brought back actually. And that is this little fox over here, he's so cute. So if you guys have a name for this guy, we can actually build him a little house or a little shrine area somewhere for him to live because he is beautiful. So leave a name suggestion in the comments so that he doesn't have to be tied up to this fence here in the forest. And without further ado, let's hop into the time lapse. Oh yeah. Starting off, I'm building this smaller diagonal building, and this is the one case where building diagonally is actually easier than building normally, because I'm trying to emulate the style of the church, which is way easier if they're on the same angle. Since I was building all the sides of this thing at the same time pretty much, I had to do a lot of jumping around in replay mod to somewhat capture what I was doing, but overall, I think it fills the space very, very well and walls in the backyard to the church very nicely. You guys may have noticed the tulip theme I've gone for wherever there's an empty spot of grass. And the one thing I point out is to pick around two or three flowers that go well together if you're building flower patches, because any more than that usually clutter things up and make it look worse. So I went with white and pink tulips for this one and I am loving the serene vibe it gives this place. Inside, you just saw me place down beehives as flooring because that top texture is top tier. Anyway, Getting to the main building of this time lapse, I had a difficult time capturing all the details as they're being put in during the replay, so I'll make sure to show it all off in first person mode once the time lapse is finished. It just comes down to the way I build. I usually start with foundation, put in the framework, and then fill in from there as you're seeing me do right now. I'm really happy I decided to incorporate light blue terracotta into this build. My strategy for the palette with most of these buildings is just use whatever I've been using before and then change one thing for something new to make the house unique, that being the light blue terracotta this time. I went with the brick roof we've been using recently to create more congruency with the other side of the valley and to break up all the purple that we've been using in this area. It's really starting to come together in this area and once the water stream is in on the backside, it's gonna look wonderful, especially when I deal with the shulker mess I have lying around back there. Yeah, we don't mention that, okay? At the end of the time lapse here, you see me putting in a balcony in the back and I'm gonna be decorating this whole area in detail when I know how much space the stream is giving me back there. But I think it's time we check this out in first person. So let me get in there and I will see you on the other side. All right, guys, it is just turning nighttime, but that is probably the perfect time to show you guys what this place looks like because it is looking really, really cool. I put these lights in here and a detail you can see in the time lapse is actually that I decided to display these gems right here that they're going to be selling. I put in an emerald, obviously diamonds. Diamonds have got to be the most classic item in Minecraft, so got to have the diamonds. They're also on the signs up here. And then, of course, some lapis. And I think we're going to include quartz and gold nuggets, ender pearls, anything that could be jewelry in this shop over here. And obviously the shop is looking pretty empty and the living quarters as well. So we're going to have to deal with that at some point. But for now, I am really happy with what this is looking like. And during the daytime, it looks like this. I really, really love the terracotta colors. I just think they're so clean and such nice blocks to work with. So expect me to use a lot of that. But I feel like this came out really nicely. The Ventia colors are, of course, white and cyan, which is why I've used this. I think it just fits really well with everything else I've used in the kingdom. I mean, pretty much my whole castle itself is white and cyan, so it, it really fits. So the way to enter the actual residence is over here up these stairs, and you get to a nice little door right here. There is also, and we're going to have to include a way to get over here, another way to enter into the shop right here under the stairs, so you can get into here. I'm probably going to have the path leading into this door coming from this side instead, so you walk down the stairs and come in this way, because... There's a tree in the way right here. Ignoring my massive amounts of shulkers, you never saw anything at all. 
Uh, the backside is looking pretty good right now. I imagine this area being an outdoor dining area or maybe just a lounging area where you could sit by the fireplace and just look out over the vineyard and look out up at the mountain we're going to have right here and, uh, and just enjoy a nice sunny day or maybe a nice evening after work. Then, of course, we have our balcony right here where I decided to use a lot of lecterns and campfire blocks. You can never go wrong with lecterns and campfire blocks. They always look good, so make sure to use tons of them. But coming over here, I think I want to put another tree right here to have the canopy sort of extending this way so that you're walking through a bit of a tunnel right here. That goes for the other side as well. So I want a tree right here, but not so it's obscuring the path that's going to go right here along the edge of the cliff, connecting up to that path over there so you can walk up the mountain. Like I said earlier in the time lapse, it's all coming together. But for now, let's try and work on this area right in here. I think it feels really nice and private in here. So what I think I'm going to do is build up sort of a medium sized tree, a little bit bigger than these ones right here, that covers up most of this area with a canopy so that there's a lot of shade and then just make a few places to sit. Maybe you're waiting to go to church or something. We'll we'll figure it out. So I think we're going to do most of that decorating on camera, but let me get this tree built in a little bit of a mini time lapse and I will see you on the other side. with the shaders we've got a nice and shady spot over here didn't even realize what i did there shaders shady spot yeah i'm thinking what we should do is make a little bit of a flower patch right here to fill up this area and put a table or two right here so let me get the materials ready for that because right now i am yeah i got a bunch of tree materials on me all right so i've collected a few things let's just plop down a few flowers right here something like this and we should be good I'm basically dotting all these flowers in semi-randomly, uh, not trying to have too many of the same kind right next to each other at the moment. That is looking pretty sweet, so I'm going to go to sleep since it's turning nighttime, and let's get to building this table over here. All right, so I'm thinking something like this. Let's see if we can fit it. One, two, three, four, five. Order it around so it looks like it's a bit of a tablecloth. Yeah, this doesn't actually leave enough space right here or over here. So I think what we're going to have to do is move the table over this way and fill in this grass right here. So let me get some of that and we'll figure it out. All right, I filled this area in. So that leaves us with a lot of space over here. Let's see if we can actually fit this in right now. So maybe here. Okay, I think this should be good. So we can place some flower pots down and place something in there. Put some chairs down here for people to sit. Just some super simple chair designs with some some trap doors and some half slabs of the same kind works very well. All right, so I'm thinking something like this. Uh, I don't really know what the turtle eggs are for. They just, uh, you know, they're a decoration we have. And I went with some red tulips to distinguish them from everything else. But I would like to also add just some cups. But I will say it is kind of dark. So let's solve that with our good old chains and lantern combo. Ooh, I really like the way that's looking. And now we just need to do something about the path right here. I don't think we're going to do the stone path over to the table. What I'm trying to say is we need some coarse dirt over here. So let me get some of that and I will put it right in. All right, so the coarse dirt is in. I usually like to put coarse dirt under the tree canopies like this because realistically, not as much sunlight would get down here. So there wouldn't be as much grass. The same thing goes for right here next to where people are walking or really where people are walking. You're going to be trampling all the grass, so there wouldn't be any any grass right where people walk the most. But let's put some more bushes in and get this place ready to be called finished. And I will cut right back to you guys. OK, now we're talking. Now we got the little flower garden right here and the more wild uh, garden right here with the tulips and I, I did that all the way around so we have a consistent theme all the way through here but I think this is a super cute area imagine just going here having some tea with some friends what a nice private little area I did a good job with this place oh yeah I kind of love that you can't really see it from the air either you have to go in there to explore I mean I guess you could look down from above here but it's one of those little secrets that you'll be able to find if you walk around by foot, and I like that. I think we need to do more of that kind of thing. 
And I know that I said earlier that I was going to be getting to this place, but I am seriously running out of time for this episode, so we're going to have to do this another time, but I think we got tons of stuff done, so... I'm not too unhappy with the fact that we can't get that done. But guys, don't forget that if you want the terraforming episode, definitely leave a comment below. If enough people tell me, I will definitely see how much I can build in 24 hours and we will see what happens. But for now, I am all out of time. So if you made it all the way to the end here, you're the champ and I appreciate your existence. So until we see each other next time, have a good one. Yep. I actually fell because my wings broke. Derp.